Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for the full moon, the energy around the time of the full moon that falls on April 19th, 2019. Uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate for you, check the other signs in your chart and watch one of those videos. Or if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. And we can get into your situation specifically. Since everybody's, you know, everybody's unique because we all have our own alignments, birth dates, times, locations, all that good stuff. During the reading, feel free to flip the energies if the other resonates for you. Okay, so, <clears throat> boy, <laughs> a lot going on here, Scorpio, a lot of movement. Some of you might be traveling or know, have somebody traveling to you or just tons of movement. So something's coming in, you know, <laughs> something is coming in, uh, literally and metaphorically speaking. So right in the beginning, I see here, it looks like the wheel is changing in regards to something, perhaps a cycle that was closed out. It looks like it's bringing somebody, the universe is bringing somebody in for you. Um, this could have been per somebody that, they could be a water sign, um, but don't have to be. However, I feel like it's somebody that in the past, maybe they made you unhappy for some reason, or there was something, there was some sort of conclusion of unhappiness. There's potential for a lot of happiness in this connection, whatever it is, but it just didn't pan out that way at the time. It could have been due to another person being involved in some sort of way. This person would either be uh, very controlling, whoever this person was. They could be an air sign, or they could just be kind of harsh with their words. And uh, yeah, for some reason, I feel like they had a factor in how this connection played out. And they essentially... Uh, their factor was too strong. It just hindered it. However, the universe might be bringing you some sort of change in regards to that. It could have to do, now if this isn't romantic, there could be some sort of job or something coming in like that for you. I just keep getting the word commitment. It feels very much though like a reconciliation of some sort or reunion, um, an apology maybe in play but there is some message coming in from this person and a lot of emotion here <clears throat> karma this is something that has to do with karma so the universe is bringing you all of this and karma is going in your favor you spend a lot of time worrying and you may still kind of have that worry but you're come you should be coming out of it this week <laughs> I see you've been throwing yourself into just working hard because you didn't know what else to do. You were emotionally unsettled. and But there's a decision has been made and regardless of the outcome of that decision, it's going to, it led you to walk away and I think that you are, no matter how much you're still affected by whatever it is, whatever this judgment was called in the situation, you definitely do not want any more conflict. You don't want to be one of competition. You don't want to deal with any of that. So even though it's something that weighs on your mind, you've been throwing yourself into work because <laughs> you just don't want to deal with that. You know, if it's going to be negative, um, it could have been harsh communication to deal with a earth sign or earth water mix. And the communication came in kind of quick, very sudden. Um, yeah, but this was something that happened in the past. So I think we kind of saw this last week. So this weekend, the weekend of the full moon, you may be going out or reuniting with somebody or seeing somebody, traveling to see um, to an event, a wedding, a get together, or somebody could be traveling to you, you know, maybe you're going out with drinks. <laughs> okay. So here's the deal with this though. There is, 
Well, there's some sort of soulmate situation, something that's coming in, faded by the universe. The universe is bringing this to you, okay? And um, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. I just keep getting that. Out of nowhere, you know? Maybe it's somebody that you've been thinking about, but they just, you haven't heard anything, no communication, so you're kind of... No, well, somebody's coming back in. You may have more than, I mean, there are a lot of people here, okay? So this could be a public event. I don't know, this is just very social, lots going on, lots of players in the game. And, and pairing as well, you know? I see pairs here. So, very interesting. There could be a fire sign that delivers some sort of communication in regards to abundance, financial stability, something along these lines. I don't know if you're going to like what they have to say, though. It really kind of depends. Uh, she's reversed, so it could be male or female, but when the Queen of Wands is reversed, she's usually, um, she can, she's pissed. So... So I'm not sure what's going on there. There may be some sort of, but this would have to do with either family or money, okay? So this is either gonna be a family member, but there's gonna be some clarity and communication that comes out in regards to this. I don't know. Could be completely unrelated. Like I said, there's a lot of people in your week. You know, this is not a week of solitude for Scorpio. Yeah, and all of, a lot of this could be work-related, but it, I do definitely sense movement and travel. So, yes, somebody's coming in, some sort of gathering. Let me just clarify, actually. Let me clarify this Three of Cups for Scorpio. See if we can kind of get a feel on who this is. Okay, well... <laughs> Could be dealing with a Virgo, doesn't have to be, obviously. Um, but they've been manifesting this reunion, or you have. They could be a Virgo, they could be a fire sign. Uh, there's a lot of fire here, but it could just be this person has a lot of passion for you, or you, them. They do feel like a soulmate, and they have been manifesting this reconciliation, or this um reunion or this get together they've really been wanting to go out with you or something and you might expect i think there's going to be some initiation you're definitely doing something this weekend <laughs> and there i mean if you i mean there's lots of kings and queens to choose from let's just put it that way however i think that there's going to be some in particular that are more appealing than others so all right well Quite a shifting week, a week of the wheel turning in your favor in a lot of ways. So don't worry. I know you guys, Scorpios are such deep thinkers, um, but you do get what you want. You really do. The intuitive focus of a Scorpio is just incredible. That's why you guys worry so much and analyze things. Like you guys just know. You go to the bone root of it. <laughs> All right, so universe, give me one final message, some final messages for Scorpio. Okay, all right, all right. One more message for Scorpio, please. One more message for Scorpio, please. One more message for Scorpio, please. All right. You got fairies. And you got spring equinox. Wonderful timing. Wonderful timing as we are entering. We're in. Okay. Okay, so. I feel as if you're really learning how to manifest here and you're really starting to learn the elements of it. And I think in the past you haven't been and this has caused trouble maybe, you know, for you or not trouble, but like stagnant, things just not going the way 
you want them to, even though you feel as if you're very powerful to make them go the way you want. Um, but it's a time of rebirth and abundance, and there's something coming for you. Some new cycle is is coming, and it's bringing, um, well, uh, it's bringing a soulmate in. But there's also, so you've been working very hard, and I think that you're, I mean, look at how beautiful she is. She's calm. She's one with nature and the animals. She's an abundant being. And you, you are as well. When you learn the power of your energy, when you learn the power of your mind, you can manifest so much. And I feel like whatever you've been manifesting is real. The universe is starting to return that this week. This full moon is like, okay, all right, yes. You know, you've had been feeling a lack of love in your life, um, but that is going to change. That is going to change. Just have to know how abundant you are. All right, Scorpio, happy full moon.